Hello, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why you do not want to sell low content books on KDP in 2023. The reason being is that there are way too many books out there that are the same. And Amazon, like YouTube, do not like repetitive content. What they want is original content, and they deem these books repetitive. And the books I'm talking about are journals, planners, and they have repetitive book uh, pages. The pages are all the same. So the covers are just different and the pages inside are just blank pages or lined pages and that's it. And Amazon does not like this. They won't even give an ISBN anymore. So you have to come up with your own ISBN. But I will tell you what is better than the low content books is medium content books. And those are selling. And those include coloring books, activity books, and things of that nature. And so let's go over and take a look and I'll show you exactly the reason why we don't want to sell the low content books anymore and what's selling and how to create these medium content books. Okay, here we are over in Amazon and you can see that the um, activity, I put in activity books and you can see over here the results are 80,000 results. So first of all, let's go, let's put in um, journal first of all, look for journal and see what, what results come out and see 100, over 100,000 results in journal. They don't even tell you how many results. And if you think you're going to be able to rank in, in any of these and sell a book for $9.95, um, you're sadly mistaken. It's too late. Uh, that ship has sailed. So what is selling are these activity books for kids and adults. So you can sell. And the best thing to do is to get in um, a niche that is not as competitive as the 70,000. So you want to get down to the 3,000. If you can get under 1,000, that's awesome, but that's um, pretty hard to do. And, but these books are very easy to make. What I'm using is uh, book bolts, and you can do research on here to find your niche and find out how many uh, books are selling. First, let's go over to the cloud section here, and then we'll go into um, activity book. So, And you can also do puzzle books and things like that. We'll search for the top 100 here, and it'll show you down here what's coming up in activity books and the number one seller number one seller looks like this one the things to do while you poo on the loo and that's selling for 6.99 a bsr of 89 bsr is the uh, the seller's rank and the lower the better number you want to be at number one of course and the estimated uh, selling average for 30 days is between 500 and um 670 something like that you can say about 500 and what you're going to make off of this I want to go over this because a lot of people don't tell you about this. After the Amazon fees, the KDB fees, and the printing fees, you're going to make about two dollars off a six ninety nine book. So this one's six ninety. I don't know. I don't, oh yes, yeah, so it's six ninety nine right here. So six ninety nine, you make about two dollars off of that. So you times that by uh, five hundred, make about a thousand dollars a month on this one. And the, the way to get up to um, ten thousand dollars is to get ten books, ten books that are selling. You know. 10, 20. The beauty about this, uh, about KDP, is that it doesn't cost you anything to upload these. So you can upload as many as you want, as long as they are unique. And um, I'll also show you how to promote them. Uh, you can get up there in the in the seller's rank. So let's come over here again. Let's look at one more thing before we move on and look under coloring books. We'll search coloring books. You can also adjust this to the BSR and the price range, but you can just look at the top 100. So we have first coloring book right here, my first coloring book. It's a very good uh, idea. Uh, and then you also want to write a nice uh, title and a description that gets you ranked up there organically. But I'm also going to show you how paid technique to get you going right away. And this one's $5.99. They're going to be making about $1.75, $1.80 for each book, but they're selling about 800. And this one's selling about 800. And you can see the covers are, are pretty nice. So you wanna have a nice cover, nice description. And then the author, you can you can write any name that you want. This John T has two books up here in the top sellers. He's doing really well. Uh, you write uh, author coloring book. The only thing you don't wanna do is this actually, coloring book Kim. I don't know how they allow that in there. Sometimes they don't allow that. Because if it's if it's deceptive, and you're putting keywords in your in your authors, they will they'll come back at you. You want to use your name or some kind of publishing, something like that. Don't use keywords for your publishing. 
So here we are in Book Bolt. Book Bolt. Um, we we're in the cloud division. Now let's go over to keyword. We want to do a little bit more research. We're going to type in activity book, do search, see what comes up. And as you can see, we have all these keywords that come up with the data, how many searches there are for Amazon, Google searches, cost per click, and then competition over here. So activity book, uh, of course, it's high. There's a lot of competition, but what we want to do is get something that is less competitive, but still um, has a lot of searches. So type in Christmas activity book now that it's Christmas time. Of course, the cost per clicks is going to say, like it says, 33 cents here. That's not accurate because it's Christmas time and advertising is much more expensive. So it's more like triple that or double at least. About 80 cents per click on a Christmas activity book. I know because I have one up there and I'm advertising it also. So let's see. Um, we do have good clicks, uh, good search results, but it does high activity. So what we want to do is even niche down even farther. So we're going to go down to Hanukkah activity books. So there's probably not too much um, competition for Hanukkah, although it does say it's high, high, high. And what we want to do is come back over to Amazon and click, put in Hanukkah activity book. And what it says is 3000 results. So over here, uh, combined with the research over on BookBolt, we find that this is a pretty good niche and we can probably rank pretty high. You see these first three are sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to show you how to advertise and get your book in these first three, get it on the first page at least. So um, Hanukkah looks pretty good. We're going to go with that. We're going to come back over here to Book Bolt and we're going to design, go into, well, let me see, I already started this. So what you do is go to projects, hit new, uh, paperback, cover and interior. I only do the interior on BookBolt. You can do the cover and the interior if you're going to use this. I like to use Canva for my um, covers. So I'm going to do that and we're going to do uh, Hanukkah. And we're going to do an 8 by 8.5 by 11. It's going to be a coloring book, coloring slash activity book. And it's going to be black and white interior. Uh, with white paper. Um, black and white is easier for Amazon to print, cheaper for us to print, much cheaper. And then we're going to go with, uh, we'll just keep it with 24, but you want to go with 100 pages on this. Create the project, and here we go. And now we want to put in the first page. We come up here to pictures. What I've done is upload all these pictures. You can go to Pixabay also and find pictures that you want. But I'm going to go into up my uploads. I'm going to go back one. And I have all these uh, books that I've, and trivia, Christmas coloring pages that I've uploaded that I can just add into a, a book. Um, I think I want to go into the math workbooks. And yeah, here's a uh, one, two, three math workbook. Okay, this is good. I'm going to show you how to change this real quick. This is a good uh, lesson here. So it says math workbook. We don't want it to say math workbook. So what we're going to do is grab a, a, a rectangle, bring it up here, and because you can't change this lettering once it's, it's already in here, you just got to cover it up, color it white. Uh, is that white? Yeah, there we go. Click OK, and then, then you can put whatever you want to. Uh, we can go to text, go header, and then double click it. This book belongs to, and then just drag it up, grab it, and drag it. And then you can put some Hanukkah symbols up here. If you want, we're not going to do that right now, but I'm going to show you how to get the Hanukkah pages. So you can upload a PDF. And what I do is I go over to um, Creative Fabrica. And this is a paid service. I do it because it's, it's very easy to um, get pages and I can just create books like super fast. Hanukkah, there. Just put in Hanukkah and see what comes up. We have all this clip art. 
This would be good to put on the pages, this clip art right here. On top of that, this belongs to, actually we'll do that. We'll, I'll show you an example of that. So we'll download it. Oops, I downloaded it twice. You got to unzip it. So here's the folder. And then I'm just gonna drag it over to desktop real quick. And then we'll go back into our book bolt. And then we're gonna upload it. We're gonna choose a PDF, go to desktop. Okay, that was not a PDF, so those were images. So we're gonna come over here to upload images. Desktop, come back down to AMB right here. And then we'll just click a few of these. Uh, that looks good. We'll get a dreidel, control, not a present. We'll get a, yeah, that thing and a scroll and say, okay. Okay, now we can click it and then it'll put it on here. Now this is gonna be black and white. You can adjust the image, come over to the effects and just go black and white. Say okay, because it's gonna uh, show up black and white anyways. So anyways, you can do that for a few pictures here. Put three, two or three pictures and there's the, the, the first page. Now, what we wanna do for our second pages is come into uh, pictures and then we come into the all the items that we've downloaded it, it could be pictures that we like we just did or PDFs um, we've already got PDFs up here so we'll come back to my uploads and then we'll come into so we'll scroll up and find a picture that we want and paste it on our page and it's auto save is on so it'll automatically save in a few seconds and there we go um, if you just hit fit, if you want to see it in full page, go down to the next page, do it again. Oh, hit the wrong one. Go up to pictures, come in, grab a, another picture. And then it'll save it automatically. And then you continue doing that. You can put in some math pages, some, some puzzles. You can put in some, some word searches. You can do that. Um, here's a word search, go up to 10 words, and then all you need to do is upload your, um, your words right here. Choose a C CSV file, so you pick some Hanukkah words, upload them, uh, put them in a CV CSV file in Google Sheets, and then upload them here. And then you submit it, of course there was no word so it didn't work. And then you continue doing that until um, your book is ready. So once your book is ready, you come up here to download and download it as a CMYK file. And that the difference between that and an RGB file is that CMYK is easier to print for um, KDP, Amazon. The colors are, are truer, they say, for printing. So that's what you do. Download as a CMYK file, and then you come over to uh, your KDP account. KDP, if you don't have a KDP account, then you just create one. Sign up, it's very easy. Hit create for a book. We want a paperback, so we'll create a paperback book. English, yes, and then Hanukkah, Hanukkah activity book. Of course, you want those all caps, and then also what you want is put uh, age, as much information as you can in here on your title. Um, what you can do is come over to, so you can come over here to Han uh, Amazon over here, take a look at some of the titles. See how long this title is? Everything is the title. So everything here, Hanukkah coloring activity book for kids ages three to eight is the title. And then everything after these two dots is the subtitle. And this is a part of um, holiday books for kids, six books. So they did put a series in here. looks like a series is a good idea to um, rank higher. So that is awesome. We'll have to remember that. So we'll come back over to our KDP title, subtitle, and then series, it's good to add a series, we just learned. So you don't have to do that now. Uh, create a series, we won't do this right now, but uh, it's a good idea to do that. Put in your, um, the author's name. Let's go Salem Publishing. And then description. So description, you want a pretty big, uh, good description. Come back over here. Take a look at some of the competition, some of their descriptions here, and see they have all this. So we can uh, 
just copy it, but we don't want to copy and paste, of course. We do want to change it. It just gives an idea. So what we can do is like uh, change this to Hanukkah, Hanukkah activity book for kids ages three to 11. And then um, do a bold, bold that, hit it on bold. And then come in here and change all this, add your pages, what, what you have in yours. Um, just change uh, coloring pages, mazes, counting. You can do add some, put some addition in there and some other things. Then click, I own this, publishing rights. Put in some keywords, Annika, and then you want to fill out all these, all the keywords that, uh, that you found. Choose a category and go into juvenile nonfiction, go into activity books. And here's another tip. Um, of course, it's an activity book, but if you want to rank in a different category that's similar but not exactly the activity book, it's a good thing. Um, it's easier to rank because there's not a lot of those coloring books in Avengers and uh and now we come down here to category. Um, now here, right here, it says, does your book classify as one of these types, low content book? No, it does not. Journals, notebooks, and planners, no, because we do not want that. They don't like it, we don't like it. Adult content, no. And then save and continue. It'll save, save successfully, and then they'll give you a, a KDP ISBN number for free. Come down here, publication date, put today's date, black and white interior with white uh, print and then we have to change the size to eight and a half by eleven eight and a half by eleven uh no bleed we do want uh bleed actually bleed because we're gonna do pdf our cover and our interiors are all pdf files so uh, bleed it means that it uh the ink goes all the way to the corners of the page just in case for margins and that so you can have a matte finish or a glossy Glossy is better, matte finish is cheaper, of course. And here's where you up, upload your manuscript. So you downloaded your CMYK PDF file. Now you upload it here and then launch your, uh, you can upload your cover here that you created in Canva. I'm not gonna go over creating the cover here because this video is gonna be way too long. And then launch preview. This will check the book for any problems. And if there's no problems, then it's ready to save and continue. Now, once you have your book all published, what you want to do is advertise it a little bit. So we'll come back over here to um, your bookshelf. So come over here to bookshelf, and these are all your uh, books that you've published. Of course, these are not published yet because these are just examples. Come down here to one that I do have published. Click on these three dots over here and go over to promote and advertise. We are going to advertise our book so that it gets up onto the first page of Amazon which is always good. So we're gonna choose where we want it. That's amazon.com, create an ad campaign. Come over here, we want sponsored product. So we have a product, not a brand. And we want standard ad, ad group. You can name your ad group, Han. And then we can, we already have it over here. If you didn't have it, you could choose from one of these books, but we have it over here. And then we'll come down to manually target and we'll do our keywords. And we'll do a we'll do a custom bid, and we want it at seventy five cents, eighty cents. You know, it's expensive right now because of Christmas. And then we will do a phrase match, or an exact match, or both. We'll do both phrase and an exact match. And then we have to put it in our list. So up here, we click list, enter list, uh, or upload file, and then we can um, enter our keywords. And you want to do your get that from your book bolt or any other keyword uh, that you did. Um, say Hanukkah, Hanukkah uh, activity book. I'm just going to show you a, a an example, but you want um, as many as you can. I'd say between a 10 and 200 to begin with, and then you can um, slim it down. So put, click add keywords. And then four keywords were added. Um, that was two of the phrase and two of the exact. And the, over here, 
that's them, 75 cents for each one. And then once you get some data, you can turn some of them off. If you have 200, 200 is a good, a, number, a good number. So dynamic, we want bidding is our dynamic and down only. So it'll start from 75 or 80 or whatever we put and then go down from there. And then campaign name, we can put a campaign name. We don't need to right now. Start December 6th, um, no end date, and then daily budget of uh, $4. 4.0, 4 and then launch campaign. So that will put us on the top of, uh, of Amazon's front page. So that's something like this. Let's see what we have over here. Uh, see these are sponsored up here all these books here and they'll get they'll start getting sales right away so once you start uh, getting some sales you want to continue this rinse and repeat do another book you can do word search books you can do trivia books and you can do them all in one specific niche sort of like uh, this Hanukkah you can do all Hanukkah word searches Hanukkah trivia and then go on to your next category boom 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 do it keep doing it and then that's how you get up to uh, three, four, five hundred dollars a day, ten thousand a month. Hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.